What's up, everybody? I'm Mr. Second Passport. In one of my apartment rentals here that I use for Airbnb near the Quito area, uh, I was without water for a whole week recently. So I'm going to share what I've been doing this past week so I can prevent a similar situation from happening in the future. So if you live in a third world place like Ecuador, you, ha you have to assume that you're going to be without basic services now and then and be flexible with it. But if you have a business like an Airbnb rentals business like I do or something, uh, then you can't be without water or electric ever. So if, especially if you're in a rural area, you might want to take precautions like I did this past week um, by just uh, installing, for example, a reservoir water tank like I did this past week. This is it. Uh, right here. It's a, a a 500 liter tank and next to it is another almost 500 meter tank. So two tanks totaling almost a thousand meters, a thousand liters. Uh, it, it could last a day or two if you're careful with uh, how how much water you consume and how many people there are uh, staying. But and this is the, the water pump. It only turns on when uh, there is consumption. Right, so it's kind of automatic in that way, and, and that's kind of the idea. This is more or less what I spent to install this. Not a huge amount, you'd be surprised. The biggest thing was the right, the pump, which was $163. It was just a half horsepower pump, which is pretty much all I need uh, to give water to two uh, apartments um, below a roof where, uh, where you can also take advantage of the gravity, like a lot of people in Ecuador do. Um, if the water were to go out, uh, the tank does fill up automatically when the water from the city is on. One thing you have to be careful of is you want to make sure to install the proper checks or whatnot, uh, valves, so that you're not sending water out to the city line. Uh, one tank I already had and the other uh, I bought for around $102, so 500 liter, because I already had almost a 500 liter as well and 90 bucks for the installation some guy that installed it for me uh, so right around 500 507 dollars is what i spent on uh this whole thing i'm mr second password if you like this don't subscribe and hit the like button below this is what i've been up to this week here in ecuador take care